In this video, I'll show you a few ways to prevent spam slash fraudulent orders in your WooCommerce store. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so this particular video will be based on this article here, which has got numerous different ways to help you prevent spam orders. Okay, so I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's get straight in to the first method. So if we scroll down and the first method involves just disabling guest registration on your checkout page. Okay, because that just makes it infinitely easier for spammers to spam your website with loads of spam orders. So if we disable guest checkout, out and basically force customers to register before placing an order that will help reduce the number of spam and it doesn't inconvenience your customers too much since all they have to do is fill in the extra field to create an account or we can even automatically send a password over to their email address which reduces the need to actually fill in a password okay so let's head over to our dashboard and let's walk through how you'd actually enable this option so we'll just go WooCommerce and then at settings and then account and privacy. Okay. And then all we have to do is untick this option where it says allow customers to place orders without an account. Okay. And then we just go ahead and hit save changes. So that's just one way we can go ahead and test that out and see if it reduces the number of spam orders that you receive. So now we'll go ahead and try a anti-spam slash fraudulent order plugin. So let's head back over to our dashboard and let's navigate to plugins and then add new. All right. And then we install and activate this plugin here. Let's hit activate. So this plugin gives us a few different tools in helping us prevent spam orders. Okay. So the first one is we can try to block users on whilst they're registering or whilst they're placing an order. For our case, it makes sense to enable this option here so we can prevent them from placing an order on a checkout page. To block users based on their billing or shipping address, we need a premium version for this. It's the same situation if we want to automatically blacklist certain users. Okay, then we need a premium version for this. However, we do get the option to manually add in certain email addresses that we want to prevent from checking out on our website. It's a similar thing with the IP address and domain as well. We can also prevent orders based on their state. If we want to block them based on a country, again, this is a premium version. However, we do get an option to prevent orders based on a zip code, which might help. Let's just go ahead and hit save changes and basically monitor and see how much this helps. If it doesn't help at all, then we can just get rid of it. And if it helps, then congratulations, we've helped to reduce the number of spam orders. So now let's go ahead and have a look at different methods. So let's head back over to the AOVOP.com blog. So another thing we can do is we can get the customer to basically verify their email address, meaning it's like a double um, opt-in email address, right? So they'll fill in their email address and they just need to go ahead and confirm their email address. Since the default WooCommerce system only need a customer to enter in the email address once, if it's someone spamming your website with fraudulent orders, then they'll anticipate that they only need to enter in the email address once. So with us adding this double opt-in email address, that can help reduce the number of spam orders that you'll get on your store. So you might want to try this method. I won't go through it in this video, but I'll leave a link on screen and in the description below showing you how you can actually enable this option since I've created a different video on it. All right. So if we scroll down again, we can also enter in a capture key or a recapture key on your WooCommerce checkout store, but I'll leave a link on screen and in the description below to a different video in which I've created showing you how you can actually enable this feature here. And you can use numerous different plugins to do this. All right. So we can use um, our all in one at checkout plugin. I believe this is possible in the free version. We can also enable a firewall or a security plugin such as WordFence it can basically help us reduce the number of spam orders. One, by monitoring the login attempt or the IP address that's placed in multiple different orders. And with the security plugins, you can actually block the IP address directly within the security plugin. Okay. We can also use Cloudflare as well. So again, there's a few different options here. So we've got WordFence, we've got Suckery, if I'm saying it right. So you can go ahead and test them out and see which one work in your situation. Like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box.